Okay, before I start today's RetroArching Windows 98 setup guide for a Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So I uploaded a DOSBox X setup guide just the other day and somebody actually commented to ask, do a setup guide for Windows 98? I've actually got a much easier way of setting this up rather than through DOSBox. So what is the point of Windows 98? Not much, but it's just because we can. And obviously there's a big need of it out there, people's asking. So what we're going to do first then is actually download the latest stable release of RetroArch. I'll leave the link for this in my description. I'm going to download the portable version of RetroArch for 64-bit. Okie doke, so we're just going to wait for RetroWatch to download. While that's downloading, I'm going to just make note here that this needs to be a Windows 98 OEM edition. Otherwise, it won't work. So OEM just means that we don't need floppy disks or whatever. And it's just a lot easier if we just use the OEM version of Windows 98. Okay, so RetroWatch is now downloaded. Let's just open this up and I'm going to extract the RetroWatch folder. Okay, so once that's extracted, we can now delete that RetroArch archive. We don't need that one anymore. So we got our Windows 98 first edition .iso OEM edition. Let's go into the RetroArch folder. And in here, I'm just going to create a new folder. New folder. And I'm going to call this Windows 98. And what I'm going to do with this folder is drag in that Windows 98 first edition .iso into that Windows 98 folder. Very simple stuff. So let's actually open up RetroArch for the first time. If I just go down to open RetroArch.exe. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do with this is actually boot up RetroArch into a full screen. Otherwise, it's going to open up in window mode and that's very annoying. So we're going to go down to settings to do this and we're going to go to video, full screen mode and start in full screen mode on. Okay, so at this point I'm using my Xbox controller and that's working straight out the box of RetroArch. So let's actually start setting up Windows 98. So what we're going to do first of all is download a course. So what we're going to do to do this is go up to main menu. If I press my D-pad to go across and D-pad downwards, online updater, core downloader. I'm pressing my A button to go into these options. Now what we're going to do is look for a core here. And if you're unfamiliar with RetroArch, a core is like a little emulator which runs with RetroArch. So we're going to download DOSBox Pure just here. Press A to install that and that's done. If I press B to come out, let's just go down the configuration file and save current configuration. So that just means our settings are now saved for the full screen as well as that DOSBox Pure core that we just downloaded and installed. Okay, so now that's all done, we're going to actually start the installation process for Windows 98. So from main menu, we're going to just go down to load content by pressing the right D-pad, load content, start directory, C, and from here, I'm going to press my up button on my D-pad, which is going to take us right to the bottom. If I go to users and my systems folder is named Jamie, I'm then going to go to desktop and from desktop, I'm going to find my RetroArch folder and here it is. Now, Windows 98 folder, which I just created a minute ago, if I go in there by pressing A, and here's why Windows 98 first edition. Okay, very easy stuff, and my Xbox controller is still working. So, what I'm going to do is select boot and install new operating system, press A. And from here, I'm going to stick to the hard disk size for install, and I'm going to select 2GB hard disk. If I press A. And right now my D-pad is still working on my controller, but I'm going to press enter on my keyboard to boot from CD-ROM. And here we go. So Microsoft Windows 98 startup menu. I'm going to press enter on option one, start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. Okie doke. So it's a little bit like being back in the late 90s again. So from here, I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. And like it says, setup is now going to perform a routine check on your system. So I'm going to press enter. 
And I'm going to use my D-pad or I can use my arrows on my keyboard just to select exit and then press enter. Cool beans, so this is the actual Windows 98 setup. So using my mouse to operate the cursor, I'm going to just left click on continue. And I'm going to leave this to see Windows and press next. And again, I'm going to keep typical option checks just here and go to next. And also install the most common components recommended next. And identification, so we can either type in a new computer name. Personally, I'm going to just leave this as the default and I'm going to press next. Next part, establishing your location. So depending wherever you are, I'm going to just press United Kingdom, press next and next. And here we go then. So we just got to sit back and relax while Windows 98 installs on your computer. Okay, so we're going to give this a name. I'm going to just type in J and next. I accept the agreement and next. Next up, we're going to have to enter in a product key just here. And let me just say at this point, if you find your keyboard isn't working, you can actually bring up a virtual keyboard at this point. I'm pressing down on my left analog stick on my controller and that's going to bring up the virtual keyboard just here. So we can actually use the left analog stick on the Xbox controller at least just to go around and choose the letters at this point. And once you've done that, we're going to find Start Wizard. If I just press finish on this... And we're just going to leave this to do this thing. Okay then, so next up we got date and time to set. So what I'm going to do is just drop this down and I'm going to look for UK or Greenwich Mean Time. Here we go, Greenwich Mean Time, Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon and London. I'll just leave date and time, whatever it is, and just hit apply just here, then go to OK. Now let me just tell you that at this point you can actually press spacebar on your keyboard and actually just fast forward things so you're not waiting too long. Next up, we got enter Windows password. So you can really type anything you want in here. I've just put I. I go to OK. And again, we can just press spacebar here just to speed up the process. OK, so what we're going to do first of all is just disable show this screen each time Windows 98 starts because that can be pretty annoying. Okay, so we got this far, and you're probably thinking to yourself at the moment, is Windows 98 going to work if I was to RetroArch off? Now, let me show you something, a very, very easy way of rebooting back into Windows 98. If I go into the quick menu, you can either press F1 on your keyboard. If you've got FN button on your keyboard, then press FN button in F1 together. That'll bring you into quick menu RetroArch. Or on my Xbox controller, I'm pressing the Xbox button. If we just go down to save states and save state here, this is now saving all the progress I've made. So let's just test this. If I close down this window just here and I go back in the quick menu, load state, and here we go. Awesome stuff. So that's how you do it. But there's a bit more of a tricky way of actually loading the state. So what we're actually going to do at this point is close out of this the correct way because RetroArch thinks this is Windows 98, but obviously we're emulating it. So we're just going to go to start, shut down, and shut down. OK. So eventually you'll see some orange text on the screen. And when you get this come up, just enter the RetroArch quick menu and close content. So let's just say you're booting up 
or want to boot up Windows 98 from scratch, you don't want to sit around to wait for that installation process. Again, a very easy way of doing this is actually loading it back up the same way as we began this video. So I'm going to go to Loads Content, C Drive, and press up on my D-pad to Users. That takes us to the bottom very quickly. Into my System folder, down to Desktop, and I'm going to look for that RetroArch folder windows 98 and here it is so if we just boot this up okay so from here we're going to see at the top boot and install new operating system or run installed operating system if i choose this one now for you you'll likely just have one option here but before me because i've been testing this before doing this video today i'm actually going to use number four but for you like i say you'll likely have one option so if i just press on windows 98 first edition and this is going to boot back up into the loading process or you're going to get this screen. So what we're going to do from here is enter the RetroArch quick menu again by pressing F1 or your Xbox button or PlayStation button. If we then drop down to save states, go down to load state. And here we go. We are now back into where we saved it from earlier on in this video. How cool is that? Okay then, so what about running some games? Very simple, so I've just put this back into Windows mode just so I can come in and out, which is a little bit easier. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually mount a game into Windows 98 using RetroArch. So first of all, I'm going to just show you how to install a driver. So for example, I've got Voodoo 3 and this is an ISO file extension. I've also got Jazz Jack Rabbit, which is a very awesome Windows 98 game. I played a couple of times back in the day. So what we're going to do is head back into Windows 98 through RetroArch. And I'm going to just put this back into full screen. So window full screen. Now I need to go into RetroWatch quick menu. So the Xbox button does this on my controller. Or just remember F1 or FN and F1 together. So from here, what we're going to do under quick menu is just go down to disk control. We're going to go to load new disk and parent directory. Now I need to point this to where my disk images are. So they're on my desktop. So if I keep pushing parent directory, which takes us back, we are now on my desktop. As we can see, we got Jazz Jack Rabbit just there. And right at the bottom, we can see Voodoo Free ISO. If I press A on this one, it says appended disk voodoo3.iso. So if we go into my computer, and here we go. So it's now mounted through RetroArch inside of Windows 98. Pretty funky. So let's open up E Drive. And here we go. So I'm not going to install anything because by the seems of it, the installation of Windows 98 already has Voodoo 3 driver installed, as it says, just there, reinstall. But so anyways, let's take a look at putting a game on here. So again, it's just a case of going into your disk control within RetroArch, loads new disk, and I'm going to try out Jazz Jack Rabbit. If I go to Jazz, here's my .q. And again, it's saying appended, so it should now be technically inserted into the virtual disk drive. Resume. This should now be inside the drive, and here it is. It's still got the 3DFX icon just there, uh, but we got Jazz too. So if we open this one up, and here we go. So we can now install Jazz Jack Rabbit. This program will install Jazz Jack Rabbit too. Would you like to continue? Yes. So this is going to take you through a very old school and very primitive installation. So I'm going to just go for all default locations on this installation. And I'm also going to create a shortcut on the Windows 98 desktop. So next, finish. And again, just remember, if you don't like waiting, just press spacebar and that's going to just fast forward things. And that's it, so Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 installation complete, just go to OK. And as we can see on the Windows 98 desktop, we now have Jazz Jack Rabbit if we boot this up.
that's it then for today's RetroArch and Windows 98 setup. So to be honest with you, I thought to myself, let's actually show you how to actually load some games through Windows 98 using RetroArch. Now for those of you wondering if you're going to set this up, you're wondering why video might be lagging or audio isn't correct, it's just a simple case of going into the RetroArch quick menu and from there you've got audio settings to play with which you can find under course settings, you have video settings to play with, you've got controller settings to configure, there's all types of stuff you can find within the RetroArch quick menu and inside of Windows 98 itself I also need to stress always remember to close Windows 98 down correctly and saving load states just be careful because you don't want to get Windows 98 into a mess and then accidentally save that mess so when you load it back it's going to be a mess again so just go very careful and uh, yeah things should be fine so anyways if you like today's video hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel just join me also check me out on social media I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok and finally I'm going to leave pinned in the comments section the entire RetroArch playlist which I pretty much assembled over the past year or so. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.